Chuck grew up in Toledo, and he started writing poetry when he was in high school and picked up a guitar and learned how to play guitar in the army. And he said it was just a matter of time that the two would blend together. And since then, he has been writing songs and earning awards for his songs as well. And some of his songs have also earned nominations for Album of the Year in Providence's Motif Magazine Music Awards. His songs and performances have also earned him opening spots for national touring artists. When I asked Chuck about one of his mo most memorable moments sharing one of his songs, he spoke of a song that he wrote recently about the Patriots Day Boston Marathon. And it was included in a compilation CD that helped to raise money for a Boston Strong One Fund. And he said that the first time that he played that song, several people were moved to tears. And after the performance, he had conversations that were very emotional. And he said he's never had a song affect others in that way. And then when I asked Chuck why work hard to get community to share art, Chuck said, in the big picture, the value is in the sharing. Sharing begets sharing, which creates community. In the community, each member shares their art, talent, and contributes. And it all can begin with the poem, the lyric, the melody. So here to share the gift of some of his own is singer-songwriter Chuck Williams. Please give him a hand. Well, the first song I'm going to start out with uh, kind of tells you about what songwriters do in order to get their song out, and that is drive. We drive all over the place. <laughs> Last weekend, I was out in Kerhonks in New York at the, the nor North, uh, Northeast Regional Folk Alliance. Uh, that was a wonderful time. Last night, I was down on Tiverton, Rhode Island, doing a Rise of Showcase with some of our members. And this morning, which is an unusual opportunity to have a morning gig, uh, here we are in Hopkinton. So uh, this song is called Driving, but there's a little bit more to it than that, so listen closely. Driving, driving every day. I've been thinking, thinking along the way. Been thinking about you, been thinking about me, been taking in all the scenery. I've been driving, driving down to the Cape. Across the bridge where the flag was draped On old Route 6 Going into town So many cars, so much has grown And I drive every day And I drive every night I'm so far away from where I want to be, from where I want to be. I've been driving, driving in my automobile. People flying by me like a hell on wheels. Everybody's rushing, but they don't know why. They don't even see as they pass you by And I drive every day And I drive every night And I'm 
seems so far away from where I want to be, from where I want to be. Life ain't what it used to be, just a faded memory. And I don't know if it'll ever change. I've been driving, driving down the streets Shopping malls are growing out of concrete From early in the morning Till late in day A simpler life is all we've paid And I drive every day drive every night and I'm so far away from where I want to be from where I want to be thank you These first couple of songs are off of my last album. Well, let's put it this way, my most recent album, because it's not my last. <laughs> um, so I put that out in October of 2010, so that's, that's three years old. This next song um, also is about uh, songwriters, about how you have to go out and get your song and get your craft out there. Um, Back in the day, it was L.A. and Detroit Motown and New York City and, and now more and more so is Nashville to get your music out there. And this song is about someone that took a ride down to Nashville and tried to make a career of songwriting. It goes like this. Eleven hundred miles down to Nashville Heading south Route 95 Guitar, some songs and music It's what keeps the dreams alive Eighteen hours driving straight through But I'll stop along the way Visit the town of Nazareth To see where this Martin was made Some say it's all about the journey Not the destination it seems Honky tonks and roadhouses Are what keeps alive the dream alive the dream met up with friends from Verona just a few blocks off 81 under a cloud colored like gun steel we look back at times in the sun when we were busking on Broadway Just a few miles from the Bluebird That's where everyone passes through That's where everyone is heard Some say it's all about the journey Not the destination it seems Honky tonks and roadhouses Are what keeps alive the dreams Are what keeps alive the dreams We don't all do this 
is for the money More like the people and the songs Can't compromise this position Been on this road too long Some say it's all about the journey Not the destination it seems Honky tonks and roadhouses Are what keeps alive the dreams Are what keeps alive the dreams Thank you, thank you. So I figured I'd go out a limb and uh, do a couple of new songs. They're uh, from a CD that I hope to be producing in 2014. They're all story songs. And this one, I have to be careful about how I introduce it. Excuse me. I have to be careful about how I introduce it, especially when I'm closer to Boston, because the, the title of the song is called Pawn Shop. That's P-A-W-N, pawn. <laughs> so what I'm going to try to do for you, <laughs> I knew you were thinking that anyway. You know? <laughs> uh, what I'm going to try to do for you is walk you through an old-time pawn shop. I'm not talking about a pawn shop that has you know, big boom boxes and all the gold and the stuff that happens nowadays. I'm talking about the old time, where you would take something, uh, you would take something special or a family heirloom and get some money for it. Um, maybe even find a guitar there. You never know. That's what I used to look in pawn shops for was guitars all the time. It's called Pawn Shop. This guitar was owned by a road-weary blues man Seemed he fell on hard times and needed cash So he walked into this pawn shop to find its value Tried to turn it all to gold from mountain ash Yeah, this old pawn shop has many stories Tales can be told from each item on the shelf Every time you come in browsing round there You learn a little something about yourself And on the wall were a pair of blue speckled coffee cups Just like the ones my grandma used to use A two-quart pot warmed out on an open flame an early morning smell of a chicory brew And there's a leather-bound book written in 1902 About a farmer who lived east of there up on the hill He was a loner and spoke to no one Built his home, plowed his fields and paid his bills Yeah, this old pawn shop has many stories Tales can be told from each item on the shelf And every time you come in browsing round there You learn a little something about yourself And on the table were some crocheted doilies Near a lamp with the shade the moths got to it had beads and bangles along the gilded edges Once a beauty, now that shade is far from new And in the corner, there was a musty smell From wool army blankets left there in a chest You wonder who the last was to be warmed by them 
Maybe a soldier on the way home for a rest. Yeah, this old pawn shop has many stories. Tales can be told from each item on the shelf. And every time you come in browsing round there, you learn a little something about yourself. Now, in all these years that I've run this pawn shop, many a character has come and gone. They all brought in something special for the money, yet their stories left me the richer one. Yeah, this old pawn shop has many stories. Tales can be told from each item on the shelf. And every time you come in browsing round there, you learn a little something about yourself. You learn a little more about yourself. Thank you, thank you. Well, this last song uh, Cheryl made reference to about Patriot's Day. And as uh, someone who's come to Hopkinton year after year to watch the marathon start, and someone who has also run the marathon a number of times, uh, the, the day is very special and near and dear to me, as well as the town of Hopkinton and Boston. So when we saw all of this play out on the television screens over the course of those few days, it was very, very difficult, as I'm sure you know, for a lot of us to, to realize that this can happen right here uh, in our, our beloved Northeast. to Copley Square 26 miles to be there at the finish line of the marathon some were met by a hidden bomb Deafening noise, a plume of smoke, screams of fear, flags blood soaked. Strangers reached out to those in shock, within sight of the finish line clock. Act of terror, act of shame, fingers pointed, someone's to blame. To see this happen, viewed on a screen from Boston streets, a war scene. Now three have died, many more are maimed. Behind a fence, sidewalks are stained. No one thought this could come to pass On Patriot's Day from Boston, Mass. Act of terror, act of shame Fingers pointed, someone's to blame To see this happen, viewed on a screen From Boston streets, a war scene When will the senseless killing stop? When will there be no bombs to drop? 
When will mankind be kind to man? Where do we draw a line in the sand? Act of terror, act of shame Fingers pointed, someone's to blame To see this happen, viewed on a screen From Boston streets, a war scene Thank you very much. Thank you to Cheryl and HCAM. It's been a pleasure. Time drifts. Like the last puff on the last cigarette I smoked 30 years ago in that bar on Lansdowne Street. It was opening night, and everyone wore shoulder pads, even the waitresses. <laughs> I'll never be a waitress. No head for numbers at all. Funny, you know, I was really good in school. But I could never have been as good at car hopping as Dolores Riado was at the Dog and Suds. It was at the, on the main drag, and I was going steady with John, who had the most unbelievable turquoise eyes. But I got tired of loving him because he was so steady. Now, he owns his own airplane and flies it to Aruba. He never smoked. Neither did I, really, except for that little while when Anne and I would go to Ricardo's after work for Campari and Soda, until she married the airline executive who I never trusted. And then we moved to Boston. And I had that last cigarette. And it's nice to remember it sometimes, even though the Mercury Bar and the Dog and Suds and Dolores and John and Anne and even Ricardo's have all disappeared, more or less. Even so, sometimes on a quiet night, I can still feel the menthol on my lips and hear the thin whisper of the paper burning. Yeah. <laughs> Crickets are chirping a song of love. Moon smiling down from above. A gentle breeze runs through my hair Honeysuckle perfume fills the air I feel the heat of the summer night But not so hot you can't hold me tight Pour me a cool one and set right down On the old porch swing Birds are quiet now, they've gone to sleep. And I can hear the little peepers peep. Lightning bugs sparkle as they do their dance. Mother Nature leaves nothing to chance. Temperatures hold in at 72. There's no one here but me and you. Pour me a cool one and set right down on the old porch swing. Mom and Daddy courted here long ago. Many happy nights in the candle glow. You and I can make our own memories. Stay all night, we'll do as we please. The sun will tell us it's a brand new day. Two sleepy people kiss the night away. We'll tell our kids about the love we made at the old porch swing. 
We'll tell our kids about the love we made at the old porch swing. Thank you very much. If I were there, silent before you, and I was known only by a few unkept promises, now sanctioned quietly within, and if you knew me more than I, would you reveal to me still your grace and silent grandeur? If I were but an ever-expanding hall, where remnants of middle ground lie scattered on either end, <clears throat> where quietly kept masterpieces fall to ruin there before you, would you see beyond my own eyes and report the distant worlds I keep? If I were nothingness, and you knew our time together was kept secret, beyond those present, beyond this, our present passage of time, kept secret in the most subtle, fashioned way. Would you see beyond so many unknowns and reach for me still, if I were? Thank you. Rosemary